Welcome back. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Squid to block download of certain file types. As we all know that Squid is actually a HTTP and FTP caching proxy. It is also known as the web proxy cache and it and I've got a small uh, diagram or a flowchart how the Squid works. Whenever you, if you're working on the workstation, gives a request your request goes to the proxy if the page is already being used by some other machine then the page is being cached so in that case the proxy will not go onto the net it will directly give you the page from the cache in case the request is not available on the cache only then the page will be downloaded from the, the internet to the cache and will be given to you so in this way it saves you a, the bandwidth but the problem with the proxy is that that it it cannot be used for content filtering if uh, if you want to use the content filtering then you might need to use some third party softwares like dance guardian which is obviously i think the best uh, content filtering software available in the open source but uh, i'm not going into that i i i'm just going to show you how to use uh, the proxy to block certain file types like i just want i just don't want to uh, have the exes the mp3 or the avi files to get downloaded into my network through the proxy so i'll just show you how to do that i'll, I'll close this here i am it's my machine first make sure that the proxy is installed so i give a yum install squid i hope it will be installed yeah very true so, and the main configuration file is under etc squid squid.com if you all know i go to that file uh, so i had uh, already defined my lan here you can see it's a very basic uh, squid configuration that acl name of the acl source src stand for source and my range of ips and then i give http access allow my lan so it's a very basic and uh, simple configuration of the squid which merely allows all the ips from this range to access the internet no restrictions as such by now now here i just want to apply my rules i just don't want anybody to download certain file types so i will just insert one more line here i'll put up a comment here for block sorry blocking certain file types to get downloaded so I give here ACL any file name say yes, block file it block file will be the name of for my ACL I give URL path regex and then the name of the file etc squid any file name will do say I gave the file name as block and dot files dot ACL it means I just want to block all the file extensions those are appearing in this file so and then I will just write HTTP underscore access deny block files that's it so here I just specified the rule that my ACL name is block file and it will take the reference from this particular file and all everything that is appearing under this file extension are blocked so what I need to do I've, I've got a mail here so I just need to create this file now I copy this so that I don't make any typo errors I save and quit out I create this file and here I just need to specify my rules that's it say I give e x e by this I just blocked the exe files I give a v i all the avi files get blocked m p sorry 3 and dollar you can keep on adding your ru own rule own rules here and n number of rules or n number of extension you can specify here in this manner just save and come out and do a service squid restart and put it check config squid on so it is just started so welcome you had just made 
by this configuration I had made the squid to block file extensions mentioned so it was a very small tool but or a very small configuration but that really makes your job easier but remember if you want to do the content filtering then obviously you need to go for dance guardian i'll be uh, explaining the dance guardian in next slide in next of the videos so thank you and see you soon